This is the same man, Donald Trump, who for days, weeks, if not months thereafter, called it a hoax, dismissed the seriousness of it to the point that he suggested people should not wear masks. He knew it was airborne, that people would breathe it. You know, Joe Biden said it well. He said, well, I guess we now know he knows how to read. He knew the facts of it. 5% potential lethality. He narrated all that in that conversation. In February and January, he had all this information. Yet he held rallies. He suggested that to wear a mask is a sign of weakness as opposed to a sign of strength. This is the President of the United States. So we continue to have examples of the fact that this is an individual who is not concerned about the health, safety, and well-being of the American people. And is frankly engaged in a reckless regard of the lives and the health and well-being of the people of our country. I find it so outrageous. And here we are in this community talking about the number of deaths, talking about the number of people who have contracted the virus, talking about the number of people who have become unemployed or standing or in food lines who are begging of their government that we will extend unemployment benefits because of a pandemic that resulted in economic disaster, of a measure compared to the Great Depression, and the commander-in-chief of the United States of America was in possession of this information that long ago, but conducted himself the way he did? There are so many reasons why Joe Biden needs to be elected president of the United States. And if those reasons did not make it clear why, this certainly does.